So last night, I was in my garage after a long day. It was dark, just pitch dark. And I heard this loud crack and a huge, like, ground-thinking thud. And I went out in my yard with a flashlight. It was pitch dark. And I have this giant split oak in my yard. And it fell. And I mean, it blocked my whole driveway and part of my yard. So uh, something was trying to keep us from doing these baptisms this weekend. But I got my car and I wiggled through my yard, crossed my drain field. It, it's probably going to be a problem, but we, we, I'm here. Yeah. And you're here. And 48, 50 people are here to declare that they have met a person named Jesus and he's changed their life. You know, it's been a while maybe since you've heard or maybe you've never heard why we call our church Jacob's Well. It's about a story in John chapter 4 about Jesus. He said he was tired after a long day and his disciples had gone into town to buy food. But he sat at this place called Jacob's Well and he was thirsty. And it's just this incredible story about this woman who came to talk with him and they entered into this most amazing spiritual conversation. It's a lot like the conversation you'd get if you went to the Alpha class about who am I? Who is God? How can I even know and trust the things that God has said? And, 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 and just incredible spiritual conversation. But she entered into this conversation with Jesus. And, and, and just give me understand, this is not a Sunday school lady. This is a lady who's actually, you know, had a past. She has deep spiritual questions. She had been uh, married five times. And, and she was kind of an outcast from her community because she came to the well at the hottest part of the day by herself without the protection of the other community of women because because she just didn't want to be seen by anybody, so she'd isolated, but she was alone. And, and yet still, when she came to this well, Jesus did something that was radical. He asked her for a cup of water. That broke like 20 rules. Jesus breaks rules that society has put on us, blasts through religion and, and bias and racism and sexism. And he speaks to this woman who's technically part of a different race. And, and, he, and he speaks to this woman, and that was against the rule. And he asked her for a drink of water. And even for her to take wa him to take water from this woman was against the rules. It was not stuff, stuff Jesus was supposed to do. But Jesus blasted through that and entered into a conversation where he revealed to her and actually one of the first people he revealed himself to as the Messiah. And she recognized it and she just, wow, she just, her whole life began to change. She ran back and she told her community and her community came and found Jesus. So this is a woman who met Jesus at a place called Jacob's Well and her whole life changed. That's why we call our church Jacob's Well. Because we want this to be a place where people come and they don't hear about, you know, the programs or the facility or the pastor, good looking as he is. I mean, all those kinds of things. We want this to be a place where people come away talking about Jesus, talking about who he is and what he's done and how they just can't imagine living life without him, how Jesus Christ actually came and lived a perfect life. And he died on a cross being punished for sins, not his sins, but my sins and your sins and all of our sins. And when we put our faith and trust in him, it, it saves us from our sins. It brings us salvation and begins this process of transformation that goes on throughout our life, this journey we talk about that ultimately comes to this thing of, of going to be with him in eternity as citizens of a kingdom of God. It's this understanding that what Jesus gives us is forgiveness for our sins, hope for the future. He gives us relationships where no longer are we, what the Bible says, without Jesus, we're strangers and aliens, even enemies of God. But in Jesus now, we are friends of God. We are brothers and sisters with Christ, and we are children of God the Father. We can go now and pray. So when we pray, we pray our Father. All of this is a celebration of what we're doing today. This is why Jacob's Well exists, so people can experience that. You know, at church here, we've been in this series about Sabbath, which is about rest. And one of the things that we do when we learn to bring proper work-life balance, uh, work-rest balance into our life, one of the things we begin to discover is that we start beginning to understand the joy of resting in God. And one of the things that happens there is we start recognizing that ultimately we will rest in God. And actually, at the time of our death, we talk about entering into our rest, our, our being at peace, our labor being over. And so what, what Sabbath reminds us of is that each one of us has a day where someday our heart will keep beating, or it will quit beating, and, and the breath will stop, and we'll have an appointment to meet with 
Jesus. And, and, and Sabbath reminds us that at the end of that time, you know, when, when we put our faith and trust in Jesus, that's a, that's a resting in God. And so baptism is a celebration of that. So let me just explain what baptism is. You're standing in the water there. And the picture before you're put under the water is the old you is here, there, the old you with all the sin and the corruption and the selfishness and the brokenness, the things that separate you from God and alienate us from each other. We are dead without God. And what happens is, is the picture, and this is the thing the very first Christians did, Christians throughout the century has done, you, you take a dead thing and you bury it. And, and something amazing happens when, when you are buried in Christ, buried in baptism. The old person dies and stays behind and stays buried, but, but we don't just believe in death as Christians, we believe in resurrection. Because Christ rose from the dead, we believe one day we will rise to be with him. And so the picture of us is that a new person rises. A person who's not perfect, but a person who's on a journey towards that perfection that God will perfect in us in eternity, this journey of growth and discovery. And so baptism is a picture of death, burial, and resurrection. It's a reminder of the gospel. It's a call for us to Sabbath or to rest in God. You see, the, the, this thing, this is called the gospel, is all about this understanding that our work is not adequate, God's work is adequate. And nowhere is that more true than in the story of the gospel, that we could not work our way to God only when we put our faith and trust in the work that Jesus Christ did on the cross. Only when we rest in that, only when we Sabbath in that, do we find true life? That's why the book of Hebrews describes Jesus as our great Sabbath. The fulfillment, the ultimate fulfillment of Sabbath is resting in Jesus. And so there's 48 people who said, this is what's happened to me. I met Jesus, my whole life changed. We've got some who are really young and on fire for God. We've got some in the middle. We've got some, you know, um, more mature ones. Uh, don't say older, but, 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 but they're more mature. And, and, and they're all declaring this. Some of them, it, it happened years ago. Some of it has just recently happened. Some was a journey of understanding. And all of a sudden, they just realized, I believe. And so they're here to declare it, and that's worth celebrating. So before those folks come out, I just want to ask you, have you put your faith and trust in the work that Jesus has done? Are you still trying to trust in your own work? Say, what does that look like? It looks like trusting my image my ability to talk my way out of problems, my ability to do for myself, my trust in what I do rather than what God does. And so what salvation looks like is saying, you know what, I reject my own effort to be a good person, a righteous person, to be okay with God or anybody else. And I'm going to put my full faith and trust in what Jesus Christ has done, believing that not only will that save me, not only will that bring me forgiveness, but that will actually transform me, begin this process of making me a good person from whom good things naturally flow. So the work is not something we do to get salvation. The work is that which, which flows from resting or finding salvation in God. And so I just want to ask you, have you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ? If you haven't, I actually want to pray a prayer. And I want to just let this prayer be your prayer. This is a prayer where you would invite Christ to be your Lord and Savior, to be the one you are resting in, the one who you find eternal life in. And so if you're here just because somebody invited you to a baptism, but you just know you need to do this, I'm just going to encourage you, just in your heart, let my words be your words. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus... I've sinned, I've messed up, and I've tried to make myself right. I, I put this pressure on myself to look right and act right, and I just can't do it anymore. And so I give up on my effort to be a good person, be a righteous person. I give up on my effort to be good enough to go to heaven someday or even be pleasing to you. I set that all aside, and I turn my attention to Jesus on the cross. And right now I declare in faith that I put my faith and trust in his work on the cross. I rest in his work on the cross. What he did matters, not what I do. And so I trust in that for my forgiveness, for my salvation, for my transformation. Any work I do, I want to do out of the, the power that comes in trusting Jesus. And so right now, in Jesus' name, I put my full faith and trust. Come into my life. Be my Lord, be my Savior, forgive my sins, do it all in the name of Jesus. And all God's people said, amen. amen. So I just want to let you know, if you prayed that prayer and you want to talk to someone after service, I want to encourage you to stop by the Connection Center. I bet there'll even be some pastors by the New Here Center. We would love to just hear about where you're on your journey. If you've got more questions, stop back there. And uh, we would just love to hear about what God's doing in your life. Okay, you want to see some baptisms? Yeah.
Me too. All right, so we're going to have our baptism folks come out, and here comes my book. All right. You know, um, I didn't get an echo. I am getting an echo. Kind of fun. Echo, echo, echo. For some churches, baptism is very somber and sanctifying and very respectable. We're not that church. So this is about celebration. This is about new life. These are about people who are saying yes to Jesus. And so, um, yeah, you know, say, even if you're like real respectable at work and stuff, you're not at work. So let's celebrate, okay? All right, so when these folks are baptized, we just want to celebrate. All right, so first of all, we have um, Kira Rebe. She writes, I have chosen to be baptized today because I love Jesus. I want to follow Jesus my whole life and have a close relationship with him. And so, Kira, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Very good. Next, we're going to have come out Emily Ayers. Emily writes, God has been with me every step in my life from childhood to now. He has been speaking to me more and more to take steps to be baptized and to profess publicly to friends and family my commitment and obedience to him. And so, Emily, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We also have Kira Ayers. Kira writes, I have been raised since birth to grow in my faith in Christ. I want to be baptized to continue my faith and take a step. And so, Kira, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then, based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Jennifer Rumer is here, and she writes, I attended church for a short period in my childhood. I'm getting baptized because I have finally found a church that aligns with how I want to have a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. And so, Jennifer, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then, based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Andrew Barrett comes to be baptized. Andrew writes, I am ready to trust God with my life. I want everyone to know that I am ready to follow God. And so, Andrew, I want to ask you, are you have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Then based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Grace Brendan is here. Grace writes, I believe getting baptized is the next step for me and God's relationship and all my sins have been forgiven. Yes, they have been, Grace. What a perfect name for that testimony, Grace. And so, Grace, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Maggie Dowling is here. 
Yeah. Come on. Biggie's got peeps here. <laughs> Maggie writes, I have chosen to be baptized because Jesus is very important in my life. He has helped me to trust in others. Through Jesus, I have learned to forgive because he has forgiven me. I am excited to move on with Jesus in my life. I want to follow what Jesus did. He has helped me grow as a person. And so, Maggie, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then, based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Brianna Drinkman is here. Brianna writes, I'm getting baptized because I believe in God, and I am a child of God. So Brianna, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Lori Erdman is here. When I was much younger, I asked God to come into my life, and he did. He changed everything. I became a born-again Christian with a new relationship with Christ that I had not experienced before. For the first time, I was on fire for Jesus. I knew that Jesus was King, Lord of Lords, and my personal Savior, which remains amazing to me every day. I have longed for this rebaptism as a confession that I believe that I have been saved by grace. Jesus is alive. Amen. So, Lori, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? then based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Charles Esslinger is here. And Charles Wright, I have chosen to get baptized because I accept my Father as my guide and the divine light in my life. Allow him to lead me in my role as a Christian father, soldier, and pilot, and ultimately to be the best man he needs me to be. So Charles, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, then, based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Eris Fisher is here. Eris writes, I have chosen to get baptized because I want to be the best friends with God and to go to heaven. And so, Eris, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? then based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Brecken Forrester is here. Yeah. I have chosen to get baptized because I want to take the next step in my faith journey. I want to fully accept God in my life. And so, Brecken, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Elijah Grainer is here. Elijah writes, over the past few years during youth group, I have grown closer to God. Getting baptized is my next step in my journey and my personal relationship with Jesus. And so, Elijah, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Absolutely. Yeah, you betcha. 
and based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Ethan Grainer is here, and he writes, I want to be baptized again because I don't remember being baptized as a baby. <laughs> Through my years of youth group, I have grown closer and closer to God. I also want to be baptized because I feel this is my next step in becoming even closer to Him. I've asked Jesus to come into my heart and guide me through life. And so, Ethan, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. And based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Bob, get the camera. <laughs> Lizzie Greener is here. And Lizzie writes, even though I was baptized as a baby, I feel like I want to be baptized now to show the world how much I love Jesus and so I can grow closer to him every day. And so, Lizzie, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Then based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Claire Hakena is here. And Claire has written, I have decided to get baptized because I believe in Jesus with my heart and I want to show other people that I love Jesus. And so, Claire, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? All right. <laughs> then based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Eli Hakenin is here. And Eli writes, I believe in Jesus, that he died on the cross, and that I want to be with him, and I want to tell others about him. And so, Eli, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Then based on your public profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Eloise Helpfer is here, and she writes, I'm ready to become a Christian, share with all of my friends and family, and to be with God's family. I want God to know that I really care about him, and I'm grateful for all the things he has done for us. I'm looking forward to celebrating with everyone here today at Jacob's Well that has made this very big decision to me, to be, uh, that I've made this very big decision to be with God's family. So Eloise, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Anna Hobbs is here. Anna has written, I have chosen to get baptized because last year's Eagle Lake Camp, I started to believe in God and wanted to feel like people know I believe in God. And so, Anna, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Trudy, um, 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 Trudy Holliker is here, and Trudy writes, I was baptized as an infant in the Lutheran Church, accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior early in life, has resulted in a close relationship during my life's journey. Taking this step of baptism as an act of love and obedience, as a follower of Jesus, an action step on my journey, I'm excited to see what adventure God has in store. And so, Trudy, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> uh, 
Lauren House is here. I have decided to be baptized to publicly display my desire to make Jesus the Lord of my life. I wish to live a life that is for God and to follow the example of his son, Jesus, as a step of obedience. I believe God has called me to baptism as the next step in my faith journey. And so, Lauren, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lauren is pregnant with twins, so that counts as three. <laughs> Eric Irwin is here, and he writes, I'm over two years sober from alcohol. And yes. And Jesus helped me every step of the way to stay sober. I chose to get baptized because I, but since I accepted Jesus, my Lord and Savior, my life has gotten better every day. And so, Eric, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes, I have. And based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lizzie Johnson comes to be baptized, and she writes, I want to get baptized because I want to be more like Jesus. I also want more of a relationship with God. And so, Lizzie, I want to ask you. I want to uh, ask you. Yes, that's what I want to do. I want to ask you. <laughs> have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Then based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Brooke Keneally comes to be baptized. And Brooke writes, I have been a Christian most of my life. I was saved in fourth grade rush here at the church. Recently, my faith has been tested like never before. I got married, and four days later, I found my husband was not faithful. I didn't. I did the only thing I know how to do and fell on my knees to cry out to Jesus. Today, I want to publicly declare that I have been saved no matter the trials. I will always turn to you, Jesus. And so, Brooke, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Tammy Lasher is here. And Tammy writes, I have chosen to get baptized to follow Jesus on the path. He chose for me and to have him in my life. I trust in him for active healing from my sickness. And so, Tammy, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Then based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> now, we are halfway through the baptisms, and we are going to stop for two reasons. One... We need to put more water in the baptistry. <laughs> and two, we just need to worship God because he's so good. So she will lead us in the worship. All right. Ryan Majeski is here. And Ryan writes, I have chosen to get baptized to take my next step in my journey with Christ. I believe baptism will bring me closer to God. And so, Ryan, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. And based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Bodhi Martinez is here. And Bodhi writes, I have chosen to get baptized to obey Christ's command and to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And so, Bodhi, I want to ask you, 
Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. And based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Chrissy Nelson comes to be baptized. And Chrissy writes, yeah, come on. Chrissy writes, I was baptized when I was younger, but now as I have graduated and I am moving forward with life, I would like to make my life my own and get baptized. And so Chrissy, we ask you, have you, been, uh, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. And based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Robbie Nesvichil is here, and Robbie writes, I have chosen to be baptized as a public declaration of my faith in Jesus as my Lord and Savior of my life. I have known Jesus since I was born at one pound, six ounces, and four, and four months prior to the expected due date. I came to know him as Lord and Savior when I first contracted COVID. I felt that if I died that day, I would be okay due to my faith in Jesus. And so, Robbie, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes, I do. And based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Alex Olmsted is here. And Alex writes, I want to be baptized because I want to live the life Jesus wants me to live. I want to follow him, be like him, and be the person that he wants me to be. I have known Jesus for my whole life, and I want to be the best person I can. And so, Alex, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Elizabeth Olmstead is here. Yeah. And Elizabeth writes... I have known Christ for my whole life and have always wanted to live a life where I can follow him and trust him. I want to outwardly show how much he means to me, to everyone and I, that I know and love him, and that I know and love. I want to forever live out his love and walk his path. And so, Elizabeth, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Eric Pinney comes to be baptized, and Eric writes, A few months ago, Jesus showed himself to me in a way he never has before. Since then, I have been filled with emotion, overwhelming emotion, when I hear, <laughs> We got you. We've never lost one so far. We got it. Eric writes, A few months ago, Jesus showed himself to me in a way he never had before. Since then, I have been filled with emotion, overwhelming emotion when I hear Christian music or attend church. I can't describe the feeling, but it brings me to tears. I know that Jesus loved, died, and was resurrected. I see baptism as a public profession of my obedience to Jesus and the next step in my journey to become more like Jesus. And so, Eric, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes, I have. Then we baptize you, my friend, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Levi Reedy is here. And Levi writes, I have been a Christian for as long as I can remember. I have faith in God and Jesus that no matter what happens or where I am, they are with me. I want everyone to know I am part of God's family. So Levi, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Owen Reedy comes to be baptized. <laughs> so 
Owen writes, for pretty much my entire life, I've been surrounded by faith, but now I am ready for this undertaking of my own commitment to faith. I was going to be baptized in 2019, but the death of my grandma changed all my plans. However, I knew God had a plan for me, and now I am ready for baptism. And so, Owen, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? You betcha. You betcha. <laughs> then based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you, don't you know? <laughs> In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jasmine Anger is here for baptism today. And Jasmine writes, I have chosen to get baptized because I want to change who I am to be more like God and to be the best person I can be. And so Jasmine, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Lynn Schmitz is here, and Lynn writes, My faith has been strong for the past three, and four, three to four years. I want to witness my faith in front of everyone and get more involved with church. My relationship with God is stronger because of my faith. I rely on Him for everything in my life. And so, Lynn, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Gabby Swenson is here. And Gabby writes, about two years ago, I accepted Jesus as my Savior. I've chosen to get baptized because this was the next step in my journey of faith. And so, Gabby, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Riley Swenson is here, and Riley writes, I have chosen to get baptized to show everybody that I have decided to take the next step in my relationship with God. Can't change my relationship with God by making worship fun to do. And so, Riley, I want to ask, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? I have. Then based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Madden Shelton is here. And Madden writes, I have wanted to get baptized since I started attending Jacob's Well Kids. I have learned so much about God and JW Kids. I am ready for that next step in my faith. Madden, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Manning Shelton is here. I want to get baptized because I love Jesus and I want to follow Christ. I go to Jacob's Well Kids and have learned so much about God. I want to share God's love and testimony with others. So Manning, I want to ask, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Jackson Sherman comes for baptism today. And Jackson has written, I have chosen to get baptized because I want to be closer to Jesus and to feel his love. So Jackson, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? 
then based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Josie Staves is here. Josie writes, I'm getting baptized to show the world that I want to follow God and that he lives in my heart and I will follow him forever and ever. So Josie, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Elizabeth Stevens is here. Elizabeth writes, Last summer my papa was sick and I got scared and prayed all the time. I remember I was in bed praying where I felt warm and cold at the same time and then I felt the hand on my shoulder. I knew God would heal him. I've grown closer to God and now I put my trust in him. And so Elizabeth, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Sydney Stevens comes to be baptized. I've chosen to get baptized to show my obedience to the Lord. I hope to get bap- I hope uh, I hope me getting baptized will show that I have chosen to trust and follow God. I will trust what he says. I will go where he goes. And so, Sydney, we want to ask, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Tim Tilson is here. And Tim writes, I've always known Jesus from when I was young, but going through a tough divorce and joining Divorce Care through Jacob's Well provided me with great people to talk to and support me through my struggles. It brought me back to Jesus as I couldn't have made it through without him. So I am getting baptized so I can show my love and obedience to Jesus and to let everyone know how committed to Jesus I am. And so Tim, I want to ask you, my brother, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your late Lord and Savior? I know you have. And so, based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Gabriel Tim is here to be baptized. And Gabriel writes, I have chosen to get baptized to tell Jesus that I trust him as my Lord and Savior. Gabriel, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Good job, Grandpa. Sierra Wessel is here. And Sierra writes, I gave my life to Christ a long time ago, 10 years ago, but was baptized as a baby. I've come to believe that this is a choice to, be made, to make for myself to go in wholeheartedly. I want to walk in obedience, in step with the Spirit, and to profess this publicly. And so, Sierra, I want to ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And based on your public profession of faith, we baptize you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's give God some glory and celebrate those folks one more time. You know, as the pastor sitting up here, I probably see some things you don't see. So what I see is children of 
people who were children being baptized here. So third generation people coming to be baptized, yeah. I, I, see, I see grandfathers baptizing and moms baptizing and dads baptizing. I see spiritual mentors baptizing youth. I see friends who were crucial in divorce care and in uh, grief share and in all the different ministries. I see old and I see young. I see people um, from all kinds of life who have one thing in common. They came to a place called Jacob's Well and they wanted to preface Jesus and their whole life has been changed. And so just like we always say here, we exist that wherever you are at in your journey, we wanna to come together and take steps together and know and become like Jesus. So if you're here today and through the testimony of these people, you're just convicted, don't leave this place without stopping at the new here room or stopping at the connection desk and just say, could I talk to somebody? Could I, I just wanna share, I just wanna ask some questions. Or if you prayed that prayer with me early, we'd really like to know that and to help you. We, have, we wanna give you some resources this week to help you take steps in the journey that you're beginning. It's not about you know one big decision, it's about a direction and a bunch of little decisions towards God. And so wherever you're on your journey, let's take a step together. Let me pray and then we'll be dismissed. Father, thank you, thank you, thank you that there was your son Jesus who came and lived and taught he did amazing things. He did miracles. He's still doing miracles. Many profess coming to Christ in evidence of miracles. Father God, I, I just pray that you would just receive our praise that Christ lived. We are so grateful that Christ died. He died on a cruel cross on our behalf. And because of that, we can have life. And we thank you for that. We thank you that he rose from the dead. And we declare our faith in the risen Christ as Lord and Savior. And we want to follow him. We want to love him. We want to let the world know that Jesus Christ is Lord. I pray that we would go from this place and we would celebrate new life. And we would, we would celebrate the new life we have. And again, if there's anyone here who, who just doesn't know Christ, that they would seek out today someone who could just explain the simple message of Christ. For it's in Jesus' name we prayed. And all God's people said, Amen. all right, we'll see you next week, gang. Eh?